Hi, I'm David Knopp, Director of Assessment. Uh, the mission of the Assessment Office is to improve student learning. And so one of the ways we have to think about that is, what is learning? Uh, so we need to talk about maybe a learning taxonomy, a learning strategy, and so some of the research in a way that could help you try to figure out what level your students are learning at. Probably the classic approach to learning is Bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives. Bloom was an educational psychologist, and he chaired a committee in which the committee came up with ways to try to really see how students were learning. His research ended up having three domains of learning. The three domains of Bloom's taxonomy are cognitive domain, the thinking, the intellectual domain, what are students able to think and grow intellectually, the affective domain, which is how do they feel about a piece of art or how does something move them, a literature uh, novel or something that they've read, and the third is the psychomotor, which is can they do it, can they physically do the, the, uh, the task at hand. So Bloom and his group studied the three levels. What I'd like to cover in this session is just focus on the cognitive, the intellectual domain of Bloom's taxonomy. All three of these uh, domains had different levels of learning within each of those domains. And so, for instance, in the cognitive domain, they, the committee in Bloom came up with, there were six domains, from the lowest level of learning to the higher order thinking that we often talk about that we hope our students have to, uh, get to. Now, these are levels, and so it is important that a student, or as you're working with students, that they do need to go up this uh, ladder, if you will. Uh, they cannot obtain these higher order levels of thinking without also accomplishing the ones in, in the lower levels. So the first level of learning of Bloom's taxonomy cognitive domain is just knowledge. There has to be this basic just knowledge, I know things. Uh, a lot of this is stuff just from experience from growing up, things that we learned as children. I know that 2 plus 2 equals 4. I know that Abraham Lincoln was president during the Civil War. So in our history courses, in our, this is a lot of the facts and dates and things that just people know. That basic knowledge has to be understood before we can get students or people to think at higher levels. The second level is comprehension. Not only do I know that Abe Lincoln was president during the Civil War, but I can comprehend, I can understand, I can put that in texture, I, that means something to me. I can comprehend that knowledge. The third level is then application. I can apply what I've learned in, through my knowledge and comprehension to a new situation. And so take some of the theories that we learn in psychology and apply it to a new situation or something like that. Application. The fourth level is analysis. Here, a lot of, I'm able to really think and compare and contrast and really go and analyze and examine the situations and um, come up with my own determination of which might be better. I can do some of the critical thinking decision making at this approach. Synthesis is, I'm taking all this knowledge, application and analysis, and I'm almost able now to create my own piece of work. So again, I can study Beethoven. I can know Beethoven's music. I can comprehend it. I could apply it. I can understand it if I hear it. But now I might try to go and say, if Beethoven was alive today, what kind of music might he be doing? I'll create it. I'll try to emulate my own thing. People working on their PhDs are going to be doing a lot of synthesis, their own creation, contribute, contributing to the field, if you will. And the highest level under Bloom's taxonomy is evaluation. Here I'm able to judge. I'm able to take work and really truly dissect it, evaluate it, value it, uh, and determine its worthiness. Um, so those are the six levels of Bloom. So in, in the next sessions, I'd like to talk to you about how can we uh, use these levels as we prepare our syllabus or we think about our assignments and exams.